Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew I going on guys i will here with another video for you today and today we're going to be playing some more of the persona 4 series and yeah blind playthrough it's going pretty well and if you guys haven't already make sure to subscribe hit that link in the description below and follow me on twitch and yeah let's get right into the video all right let's get into it It's evening. I left off here. It was good. It was a lot faster when there were two people washing the dishes. Yeah, I agreed. I agreed. Alright, let's go back upstairs. It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. You should go back to your room and check the TV. Watch TV in your room. Alright, let's go. Come on. Let's get it, boys. Alright, it's raining tonight. Something up here on TV, maybe, man. Maybe, gotta check, gotta check, gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta do it. Fucking <laughs> boy, shut the blinds. In other Enaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. Throughout the year, man? Fuck that shit. What the hell you mean? The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Climate change is real, people. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Yeah, people be fucking dying out here, boy. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Oh, fuck that shit, bro. I'm staring to its soul. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? That's the fucking girl from Ring, bro. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. Bro, that's that's the girl from Ring. Like, no lie, that's the fucking girl from Ring. Or the Ring, whatever. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. What the fuck? Oh, hell no, is it? Don't tell me that's Yukiko. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. What would happen if you touch the image on the Midnight Channel? You gonna get your giblets. God, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, la madre. The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke. Uh, yeah, Yosuke. And uh, the other's about this tomorrow. He decided to go to bed for tonight. Dude, if you know people are out there dying, why the fuck would you not, like, say something about that, like, right then and there? Igor, who the fuck? This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. I don't think I like that you did that. Seems you've been summoned to the velvet room. I don't I don't want to be summoned to the velvet room. Oh what the fuck is this? The music tripped me out real quick. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. So what's the catch? Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Velvet key. Okay. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. The velvet room is the back of a fucking limousine. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. Uh, okay. There is but one prize for this assistance. Two million dollar. 
You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I don't know, man. I, 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 I like kind of pushing off the responsibility to others, okay? I, I, I guess I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired. Izunagi. It is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Okay. It is like the number zero, empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Okay, that's cool. Also, I skipped over something real quick. I don't know if I can look at that again. So I'm sad. Mm, he's special. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Igor's nose looks like I could just grab it and like fucking whip him around with it. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. So we meet again, indeed. Every time I see you, Igor, it's like I just think about that one guy from Scary Movie. The guy with the crappy hand. Hey. Yo. Yo. What's good? Yo, you stopped right in time. Okay. I like how your bag's name is Atlas. You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was. But if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Indeed, we cannot. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. All right. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Yeah, I agree. You know? I tried sticking my head in the TV last night, the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your Persona first. I feel like, as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Indeed. Now let's go to school too. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You seem to faint. Uh, you seem a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. I mean, I wouldn't see why not. A double persona. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when the creating personas of the magician arena. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. 
As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this the bond Yosuke... Is this bond with Yosuke what Ego was talking about? Well, I mean, obviously. I mean, if you keep hammering it into my goddamn head, then yeah. You have established... The Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. Nice. Your ally may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. Nice. Oh, what the hell, Chi? Chi? A Chi! Yeah, there you go. Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Ah, shit, brother. Huh? Y yukiko san Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? Yeah, it's for real. You know. All that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. Yep, that's what I feared. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn and she wore it during that interview a few days ago too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. You summed up the information you gained in... You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. picked up she, she's not answering are you serious then is yukiko san inside that place she might be bro come on let's go stop it something must have come up like an errand or something oh or she might be helping at the end she wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it yeah but would she skip school for that well i'll give the inn a call um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Deadline, bro. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. Um. Uh. Nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Okay. <sighs> She was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. Girl, if you don't back the fuck up and take some responsibility. She was totally fine! And you were all, Is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Alright bro, back up. S sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school.
Because you explained to Chie in detail again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. That's, I mean, that's exactly the problem, though. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Uh, we can't really yeah. go with those people there. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. Oh, did ya? How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I mean, there has to be some I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. I mean... You, you guys fall from the fucking sky whenever you guys end up going through the TV. You know that, right? So... Why the fuck would Teddy be just, you know, floating around in the sky? Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? What's wrong? The lady Shh, turned that's around. That's so loud, you idiot! No, you're an idiot, man. Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I think I'm gonna cry, bro. Oh, come on. Don't cry. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game, you bitch. Why'd you bite me? <laughs> no, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so... barren. <laughs> Teddy, I fucking hate you. Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying! My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Yeah, make sure nobody gets her giblets. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Flip phone, boys. Let's go. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. All right. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? I mean, most likely. Yeah, in one way or another, that's Yukiko, definitely. Scene. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. And now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. Yeah, there's only gonna be one person that's gonna be able to be guilty of anything like this. Like last this. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. 
Yeah, but who else would be able to do something like that? If nothing else, like, I mean, it could be someone directly related to her. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Solid alibi. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. Uh, he was just guilty of cheating. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. I mean, one of them is fucking dead, dude. Yeah. I agree. Again, one of them is fucking dead, so you cannot compare the two. <laughs> then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. The killer shutting her up as a possible motive. I mean, that's exactly what's going on. You're going the opposite direction of where you should be going, but then again, you guys don't know about the TV world, so how would you even understand it? She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. It's all for show. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. But when it's a matter of life and death, you should follow up on any any little clue like that, especially in a small town, because how else are you gonna actually be able to crack the case? Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Is the story about the in out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? We're pointing out some obvious shit. Welcome home. What's well, good? Well. Hmm. This answer is hard. All right. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sh uh, episode short. I've been making really long episodes for the series so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. Just you know, see what it is to to have a couple short episodes see how the feedback is I want you guys to let me know you know uh, do you do you want like shorter episodes like this or do you prefer the very long form episodes because I don't mind doing either but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and save the game and we can go ahead and go back at this uh, probably I'll probably post another one of these videos uh, very soon but yeah so next time guys thank you for watching the video Remember to join the giveaway. The link is in the description below for to win a $20 eShop gift card. And yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how you're feeling about the series. And yeah, I'm very excited to see what else we can do with this series moving forward. But yeah, until next time, I'll see you later.